thing we had three weeks ago. Yes. It's a lot of defined group we're hoping it's related to what? Definitely been challenging, I'll say that. Um, it's been physically and emotionally really draining, I found. The NHS as a whole is understaffed, underfunded, and I think a, a, this pandemic has brought that again to light. It's brought that to everyone's um, front of their minds, so I hope that that will continue to improve yes. as the pandemic um, evolves. Lots of the plans that were in place were on the assumption that this would act like flu. That really hasn't been the case. There's been a lot of multiple organ failure that we didn't anticipate, really. <laughs> Coronavirus is kind of affecting a lot of people's kidneys at the moment. I still not sure what's wrong with mine as well, so I just try to get to the bottom of it now. I'm losing the loss of my legs as well, that's been kind of a major thing. Um, exhausted, sore head, dizziness, all that kind of stuff, but it's not stuff that I don't think will not come back. And that's nearly, it'll be four weeks on Saturday I'll be in here, and it's definitely not been an easy ride anyway. But I'm in the best place for me to be recovering. I think we're not unrealistic on that it's over. I think it's something that's going to be with us for a while, especially going into the winter months. I think we're progressing every day. We're getting better, we're knowing more, we know how to, how to react to these patients. We're better prepared now. If we did have a second wave or a third wave, we're better prepared.